So Yolanda. Hey, Glow. All bits tech. Internet security is on everybody's mind right now. As we quickly move into the digital era, everyone's careers, I want to say, is being transformed. And we're all concerned. I, I mean, rightfully so, we have to be concerned, especially the topics like the deep fakes and everything that comes along with a computer running your life, almost to the point where it seems like some of the conversations I've heard, it seems like we're going to be serving the computers. <laughs> I'm like, well, I think all we have to do is um, cut off the electricity. But then someone said, oh, well, maybe the solar, they, the computers would reinvent themselves with a solar power system and they will never die. But all the craziness that our imaginations could just think of on this subject of internet security and all that. I'm, I'm trying to have fun with it, um, but it's very interesting. And for our community of moms who are trying to make that decision, should they go back to work? Should they stay home with kids? Should they develop their business? Something that's on our minds. What do we do if we are low tech or no tech in this era where we are forced to take advantage or use the technology, and most importantly, email marketing. With all the new regulations, how do we know if our emails are getting into folks' inbox? I know I just loaded you up, but <laughs> I think that's great for us to start. <laughs> Those are a lot of really great, great questions. And from a perspective of uh, someone trying to figure out whether to go back to work, start their own business, stay at home, whatever choice you make, uh, yes, security is of paramount importance. Um, and it's starting with your own your own skill set, right? You have to educate yourself. And it's how you use uh, the internet, how you use your email, and how you open everything that you have or that comes to you. So always practice uh, safe, Better safe than sorry, right? So if you, for example, if you have an email coming to you and you don't know who it's coming from, don't open it. Most likely it's 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 spam. And if you're using Gmail or Microsoft or something like that, they're usually going to detect it properly and they're going to let you know it's spam. Um, but if it's not something you're familiar with, don't open it. Now they I have to stop you right there because I've I've seen some things. It says Amazon or UPS, and a lot of folks don't know. Like you have to hover over the the link so you could see the full length of of the link, right? I think that's a little insider tip for because we're talking to a low tech community, right? Or someone maybe they had their baby and now they've at least for me, I I tell people I've been under a rock for like two years, <laughs> so. I've seen some, they send me an email and then they text me. So I had to go in and like redo a whole lot of security features. And I um, implemented the Google Authenticator. But I mean, in the world of email marketing frenzy, with your professional background, like what, what do we do? Because if you say don't open it now, if you don't trust it, don't open it. Like, how, how do we navigate around that? Right. So we're talking about sources that you're not familiar with, an email from someone you've never heard of before. If it's something that's faking itself as Amazon, they have you purchased or ordered anything from Amazon that you're expecting a notification? And even if you are, and you're thinking it could be a fake, don't click a link, go directly to the Amazon site and log in from there, right? Because the links can be fake and they could send you somewhere where they're just trying to gather your information. So it got me. So one, one way they got me with that too, they said order complete and it was for a certain amount. And the first thing triggered in my head was like, oh shoot, three or 400 and something dollars. And I immediately want, I don't remember, like you said, I don't remember ordering anything from Amazon. So the, the, adrenaline kicked in and I wanted to click that email and then I was like wait let me check Amazon and see if someone got a hold of my card right 
so yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I hope whoever's listening, uh, you gotta really pay close attention to everything that's being sent to you in your inbox and stuff. So what, what could these moms do or whoever's listening, what, what could they do or how can they utilize your services to make sure that they are in compliance with the new email regulations that uh, Google and Yahoo just um, launched. Right, so Google and Yahoo um, launched new email requirements, basically there for uh, bulk email senders, people who are sending uh, 5,000 or more emails out as a marketing tool. Um, but it's always, and this, let me go back because what they have implemented has been around for a while. Mm -hmm. they, so they're now enforcing it. What that means is if you don't comply with these new regulations, your, your emails are going to go into someone's junk folder, their, their spam folder. And if you want someone to receive that information, you need to make sure that those that you're complying and your email records are set up properly. And you can contact your IT provider. You can contact sometimes even your email marketing email marketing company may know how to do this. We provide this service as well. Uh -huh. um, we provide services to make sure your email is authenticating properly, that it's validating, that we check your spam. We we look at the reports, and so we take care of that so that you don't have to uh, spend a lot of time working on that because you should be focusing on your business, right? And it takes a lot of time. Trying to learn another uh, industry is going to take you away from the focus and the purpose of your business. Mm -hmm. So is there like, if you if a business owner email goes into a spam, do they eventually get like blacklisted or something? They like can get blacklisted. So if you get reported enough times, you can get blacklisted. You, there's a lot of ways that you can get blacklisted. And it's also not just your email, but you know your website, right? So... If your reputation is in the toilet, you can get blacklisted. And if you get blacklisted, no one's going to get your emails. So how do I check to see if my reputation is in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> without getting the red? Is there like an, a, a way uh, someone who's listening it is, or a website or something, we go in and check and see if the reputation's in the toilet. Oh my goodness, I need to call Yolanda right away. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of free tools out there that you can use to just check your um, if, you, if you're blacklisted. One of the easiest tools out there is called mxtoolbox.com. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not aligned with them, so <laughs> I don't get anything to think about. Get out here. <laughs> and there's a lot more, a lot other ones, a lot of other ones that are more technical. But MX Toolbox is probably the easiest one out there, and you can just put in your your email address if mm -hmm. it's a professional email address. Uh, like yourname.com, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll, it'll tell you if you're blacklisted. Mm -hmm. So where are you located and how can folks get in touch with you to make sure they don't end up in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in West Palm Beach. Okay. Uh, but I provide my services across the country. And um, you can reach me at 754-444-8309. Also, uh, my website is www.allbitstech.com. Okay, that's cool. I mean, and, and what, I mean, what other questions do you think some, I mean, because we are geared toward moms, what are the concerns or questions or maybe clients you've worked with may have as they are going along this tech journey. Do you have any tips for them moving forward? Because you're at the like forefront and seeing this in action real time. Definitely. There are so many things that they can do just from um, hardening their own computers, making sure they have an antivirus uh, software on their system. Um, and if you have a Mac, you still need antivirus protection. There's a, a myth that you don't need antivirus if you have a Macintosh computer, but you do need antivirus. Um, it is also important if you're uh, using web browsers uh, that you're protecting yourself, especially if you know that you can't resist clicking that ad that just popped up on your screen, right? There, there's something called um, a browser hijacker that mm -hmm. if you click on it, it's gonna install itself. And then all you, before you know it, you have pop-ups coming up everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, 
some some of the worst ones will block your whole screen and you think that you've been hacked, but it's just a matter of closing the application and then cleaning up your browser. Wow. So those are just some of the small things you can do. Um, as far as working from home, um, if you're working from home and you're working for a company, mm -hmm. uh, you want to make sure that you're complying with your company rules and regulations um, as far as copying data down to your computer and uploading any kind of data, right? And using and keeping your email accounts separate, your personal email from your work email. Mm -hmm. That's trouble. Because that, that is uh, pretty trackable. Like when you download documents and upload them, it is trackable and they, I guess, can see who is or how the information is being dispersed across different digital platforms, right? Definitely. Yeah. Because another concern too, a couple of moms uh, contacted me asking about like cryptocurrency. I, I know this isn't too, no, it's a different subject, but why I brought it up? Because we're talking about security and stuff and I figured might as well just drop it in there as in terms of the crypto stuff. I'm, I'm just terrified that I might forget my password. And when it comes to like passwords and encryptions, is, is there something we could do for someone who's like low tech or maybe don't have that handy person and the good old YouTube to spend hours trying to like figure out just how to maybe encrypt something or um, block ads on their computer? Yeah. So as far as passwords are concerned, I highly recommend people use a password manager, mm -hmm. right? Some kind of software that will copy that will save all your passwords that way you don't have to remember them all but the key is that you change your passwords for everything you don't want to use the same password for every single account you i mean i've seen people get hacked but they're using the same password for their bank account as well as their home account and to log into the computer and so, yes, don't use password as your password. And <laughs> I mean, come on, let's let's let. I mean, to keep it real here, because we're we're speaking mostly to like tired, exhausted moms, and maybe some of them they have to work or run their business in order to stay in business. I mean, in order to provide for their families, right? And I don't know if to classify us as being lazy, but not being able to keep the same password our brains just wasn't designed to remember all this stuff right that's the password manager right it but what if the password manager gets hacked <laughs> so they use a lot of methods of authentication so what that means is uh, if you're familiar with uh, getting a code to your um, text mm -hmm or email, or um, you might have another method of authentication where you need to put your fingerprint to make sure. So you need to have several layers of authentication. And a lot of times with pa with, with password managers, uh, you have a master password uh, that you need to remember or a master phrase, right? Mm -hmm. That you remember that would um, give you access to your account. And so usually what, when with that kind of a uh, software, it pulls up or fills in all of the passwords to the right account so that you can just easily get into it. You don't have to remember a thousand different passwords, but you need to ensure you have some kind of security um, because no one thinks they're going to get hacked until they do. Well, I heard of something even called like a SIM swap. So even like the, the two factor authenticator, when they send you the text to your phone, someone could actually steal your cell phone number and then just go in and and I'm just asking all these different questions because some of this stuff I already know but someone may be listening and maybe the scenario um maybe tonight when you're on your computer or sometime you may see it all when you get that text message from Amazon or Walmart or wherever you shop right because with the ad tracking the, the the computers know a lot about more about us than we we think they know and our behaviors and I always joke around and say well please do send me that discount so I don't miss that sale <laughs> 
I say jokingly, but you, you know, I don't believe in living fearfully, right? So we have to learn how to be wise and navigate this uh, time of change, right? And I hope people find these messages encouraging and know that there's other moms out there to support them in their uh, entrepreneurial journey on the tech side, the no tech side, where wherever it is, um, we all can be reached. We link our business profiles to these um, messages. And I know what it's like, well, what this community has done for me which is why I really enjoy bringing new people on ideas, right? Because I love the AI. We could like type in there and get ideas, but it's nothing like bouncing something off of someone who is going through your personal situation. He'd be like, oh my gosh, that's me, right? Very relatable. And, and also it just releases a lot of stress, right? Versus yeah. someone spitting out a con. Uh, content at you and do this it's like you just won't need to be heard and take a moment to like figure out what you're going to do for your problem at that time <laughs> exactly. right so I will uh we'll have links in so you guys can reach out to us I offer complimentary consultations to help you navigate your entrepreneurial journey and Yolanda she handles all your tech needs and some other cool services. So check out her website and um, we're here if you need us. So looking forward to our next conversation. Bye for now. Bye.